Hey guys, happy Sunday. Uh, so I'm finishing chapters 13, 14, 15. So this is chapter 13, uh, Integrated Pest Management. So here we're going to talk about pest control. Uh, you want to make sure to deny access. Uh, the biggest thing is, you know what, they will get in, uh, but you know what, you can do some things that will make sure that they don't. Um, so preventing uh, them from entering is one, use a reputable uh, food supplier. So again, reputable food suppliers, you, you know where the food is coming from. Check all your deliveries. Um, if there's any kind of rips or gnawing on anything, you know that there's some sort of pest. Um, sometimes you can even, uh, your fruits and vegetables, if you take them out of the case um, and put them into uh, Lexans, you'll see, you'll get the bugs out of there. So, because sometimes they'll hide in the cardboard. Uh, refuse shipments that have pests or signs of them. Um, you want to prevent it from entering the doors, the windows, the vents. Um, check all your screens, anything that's weathered, any kind of gaps or cracks. Uh, you want to make sure, uh, you know, some places will have the air curtain installed at the door where you're getting, um, at the dock where you're getting your um, orders. So, you know, you can have that. That will help prevent them from coming in. You have the bug zappers. Uh, you have the blowers at the door that helps. So um, those are always great ways to help um, to deny access to the pets, to pests, not pets, pests. But we don't want any pets around either. <laughs> uh, your pipes, you want to make sure that they're, they're covered, the holes are covered, the cracks. Um, you want to seal any cracks in the walls, any kind of holes. Um, you want to make sure because they can come through that. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, I've seen... Um, like we had a, a fruit flies. Um, I'll never forget years and years ago, I was at a place and the fruit flies came in with bananas. Um, and then they just started to multiply and multiply. Um, and it just got ugly where we literally had to just throw everything out. And then we needed, we had to bomb the kitchens um, because it was just so bad you couldn't control it. So um, that can happen. So you, you got to make sure that you take the proper measures um, to try and prevent any kind of pests. Um, you want to deny them food or shelter, uh, throwing out the garbage quickly, making sure even around your garbage area outside, you want to make sure that that's clean, the lid is on. Um, you want to make sure that these things that you're, you're not having rats coming through, um, to eat because once they know that there's food there and there's all kind of spills, you're going to start getting bugs um, and rats and all that. So you got to make sure that I, I think probably one of the worst areas of restaurants and operations is the back area uh, by the dumpsters. So trying to really keep that clean. Um, <clears throat> any kind of recyclables be careful with that and again they like the glue in the cardboard so you got to make sure it's it's getting rid of your cardboard and get in and out as quickly as you can um remember that you always want to keep everything uh 15 degree 15 centimeters six six um inches off the ground um so that nothing's on the ground that is easy accessible to any animals um you want to always rotate your product as quickly as you can um, and just keep it clean. I mean, keeping clean uh, is probably 90% of the game, is, is having just clean practices, um, keeping things mopped, uh, deep cleaning your kitchens, getting the spills, any kind of buckets, um, empty any buckets, water, um, all of that. So uh, mowing your, if you want to maintain the grounds, if you have any kind of uh, lawn or anything you want to make sure that it gets mowed that the weeds are pulled um, you don't have just uh, uncovered garbage don't feed the birds and wildlife like people will be like oh I, I saw a bunch of cats so I started feeding them no don't they'll, they'll start just coming around um, and if you need if you see any beehives or or any wasp nests get, get them down um, you got to take care of those things flies on garbage and waste um, can spread shigella um, and you got to remember flies and, and bugs they, they can spread your foodborne illnesses so and they can bring in disease so you got to it, it really could hurt your restaurant or operation uh, so it's really kind of looking at that um, it talks about all the different rodents um, different signs of infestation is any kind of gnawing marks um, so you could see you'll see it like on cardboard or 
on any kind of bag, something like that. Droppings, um, any kind of little black droppings, um, you'll know uh, urine stains or dirt tracks along the walls. Um, and then some nests, you'll start to see cloth and hairs, feathers um, start to build a nest. So uh, the biggest thing is, you know, always having pest control operator come in uh, at least once a month. Just kind of like how your home is that you're having pest control come to your house you know it's the same thing with your restaurant or hotel um you're going to have them come in we have a uh pest guy come in comes in once a month and sprays the the school the kitchens edgar's um sprays outside around everything so uh it's it's good to have all that kind of thing happening um and you know, inspect your facility. Always be looking for any way that you can make sure that things get better. Um, and just, you know, inspect and, and put in control measures. Sometimes control measures is, is putting in the zapper by the doors um, so that the bugs aren't coming in. Um, the other is um, having the curtains um, in your area. Um, I've also seen, you know, rat containers um, that you put underneath things just in case rats come in um, so that you can get rid of that. Um, so you can always uh, do that. So if you're ever having, um, I've had kitchens bombed before uh, where the pet, they come in and they do a big old bomb um, just to kind of get everything taken care of. Um, you just want to cover everything and make sure your equipment gets cleaned afterwards because, uh, you know, people can get sick from that too. So um, always making sure of that. But again, chapter 13, 14, 15, they're quick chapters. Um, your meat, to be honest, with your uh, final exam is going to be chapters 1 through 10. Uh, but you all are go you're going to need to know a little bit about the pest control. Um, and then as we go into um, chapter 14, 15, I'm going to hit on high points there. But there, these aren't long lectures at all. Um, I have, uh, you know what, I'll do a, a video by itself. All right, see you in a minute.